Okay. Some verbs vocabulary from chapter ten. First one, nymph. N y m p h. Nymph is used to describe a beautiful girl or a young woman. Like that. For example, I said, yeah, Emma is like a nymph. Emma. Emma look like a looks like a nymph. Nymph. What is that? What does that mean? Nymph. What does that mean, Daddy? A beautiful girl. I am not. <laughs> You are, I think you are, fringe, fringe. Just uh, some hair. It's cut your hair in front your head. You know very, you know. So if if you have a fringe, uh, means your hair is cut so that it's、uh, hangs down over your forehead. You know, cut very line here. <laughs> so my daughter used to have a fringe, and.、Uh, Gutsy. If someone's behavior is、uh, gutsy, it is、uh, brave <laughs>、yeah. and determined. So it was a gutsy performance、uh, by you. So if something is gutsy, it is、uh, strong and uh, interesting. Uh, gutsy, full-bodied、no, one. Gutsy no scum. Uh, nasty on plan. Some scum. Here in Matilda, he said means you know some. Nasty, unpleasant people, but uh, uh, but here you know just、uh, Hortensia, just called Matilda at the lavender, ah, new scum, ah, just a、uh, friendly, you know, just a just a, a kind of friendly, you know, speaking scum, C U M scum, and、uh, the Borsto, Borsto,、uh, here means a. A special prison for criminals who are not old enough to be in an ordinary prison. It means you know the prison for young people, for teenagers is、uh, still、uh, not rich,、uh, not adult. You no, know, this one is.、Uh, but、uh, they, I think, they conducted、uh, very serious,、uh, serious、uh, you know, crime. So that's why they put them into the、uh, bathtub. And、uh, loathy, loathy, to hate someone or something very much, you know, hate this, hate someone very much,、uh, is a synonymous like、uh, detest. It's from French. I think French hate means uh, uh, detest, detest, de detest, 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 detest. You know, it's a.、Uh, French, you know the days. So here, law, law, um, detest means hate. Detest, crime. A、uh, very small piece of dry food, you know, especially、uh, bread or cake. You know, something, you know, a small piece of bread or cake is crime. You know, for that because because it's dry or crime, and.、Uh, Teachy, extremely small one. They teachy. They means the teachy girls. Very small girls. Extremely small girl. Okay. We can see that、uh, that one is、uh, is、uh, extremely teachy. Wow. That、uh, that animal is、uh, teachy. Very small. Very small. There is a teachy girl. A teachy boy. No, teachy. And、uh, regale somebody with with something, so it means、uh, entertain or amuse someone with a talk. Here,、uh, the Hortons are in the regale the two girls.、Uh, he want to regale the two girls with some,、um, you know, new informations about Chongqingu.、Uh, so it's regale.、Uh, here, he needs to want to some shocking news. Some shocking news, and、uh, amiably, amiably here is in the uh, uh, friendly and pleasant、uh, manner. manner.、Uh, here, Hortensia said when Matilda said、um, she can she can read she can read books, and、uh, she had read that book, and、uh, Hortensia said,、uh, "You are a liar," but with a But said you're a liar. He said,、uh, she said, amiably. So that means he said with friendly, not like a, br- not abuse, not blame them. 
not blame Matilda like a liar, just a, a mere blame. So mock, M U C K mock, um, it's dirt, a mud, or another sticky substance that to make something dirty. So it's a mock, uh, and the squirt. Squirt here means an insulting word for a shocked person, especially someone who is annoying you. Here to describe that person who sneak on uh, Hortensia, that uh, boy, I think sneak on Hortensia. Uh, sneak on here means to tell someone, such as a parent or teacher, about something that another person has doing something wrong uh, because you want you you want to cause trouble for that person. So. Uh, sneak on. No, if you sneak on somebody, it means uh, you tell something wrong what he did uh, to teachers or friends uh, or parents. So a little brat named Oliver sneaked on me, sneaked on me, sneaked on me, sneak on somebody. So be off one's rock, rocker means be crazy. You know, when Hortons uh, came out from the Chucky, she was off her rocker. You know, be crazy. He's crazy. Uh, spellbound. He means uh, spellbound. It means extremely interested in something. You are listening to here, Matilda. Uh, listen to, listen to Hortons. You know, give give speech about uh, her. You know. Uh, this uh, very brave, uh, something you know, <laughs> gallant experience, gallant behaviors, actions. So Matilda spellbound about that. Enthralled, enthralled, to make someone very interesting and excited so that they listen to watch something very carefully. So enthralled. So it's very excited. So I'm so excited and interested to watch something enthralled and be enthralled by with somebody, something by or with somebody or something. The children were enthralled by the story she was telling. Gallant, a man who is gallant, is uh, kind and polite. Towards women. Oh, another meaning is brave. Gallant also can mean brave. Here is a man who is gallant, is kind and polite towards women. Okay, so I can say uh, Peter is a gallant young man. Okay, and uh, Manes, uh, Manes, you know, something of someone that is dangerous, is the threat. Uh, it can be non or can be adjective. If it can be non, is uh, no. Wow, the boy is a manaise. Okay, means uh, it's really annoying. Uh, mesmerize. If you are mesmerized by someone or th something, you cannot stop watching them or listening to them because they are so attractive or have such a powerful effect, like a. Uh, uh, captivate the cinemas is uh, captivate or memorized mesmerized of someone you cannot stop you just concentrate to something it's a little bit like a uh, spellbound okay uh, spellbound like uh, and uh, sounder as a u n t a sounder here is uh, to walk in a slow relaxed way especially so that you look confident or proud like a stroll, stroll away and stand away like this. I think this is a word for this.